Hey guys, we're gonna see how good the Kanto Gym Leaders teams are with all their black and white teams. Let's we'll start with Brock. I start with my Tyranitar, he starts off with Lantern. He goes for the Dazzling Gleam, does like a nice chunk, I retaliate with the Dark Pulse. He fires off another Dazzling Gleam, I give him another Dark Pulse. We're both still hanging on tough, he takes some sand damage, goes for another Dazzling Gleam, Titar's still hanging on, go for a Dark Pulse, take out the Lantern. The next Pokemon is a Sharpedo. I just had to switch into my Amistar. He goes for the Aqua Jet, Amistar eats that up, activates the weak armor, I get the boost, and the white herb going. He takes some damage, gets a speed boost of his own, then goes into his belly bolt, I go for the shell smash, get more boost, lower my defenses. I then fire off an earth power and one shot the belly bolt. G Weezing with the hat comes in, I go for the surf, take out the Weezing. Sharpedo then comes back in, goes for the Mega Evolution, I go for an Earth Tower, take him out in one shot. Sylveon then comes in, hoping to stop Almasar, goes for the Terra Normal, I fire off an Earth Power, do barely anything. Goes for the Hyper Voice, takes out Almasar. Gets that Throat Spray boost, I then go back into my Tyranitar, get that Sand going, he goes for the Quick Attack, takes out Titar. He takes some damage from the Sand, I then decide to go into my Aerodactyl. Go for the Terror Steel Iron Head, Sylveon just hangs on, I take some Life Orb damage, get a Lucky Flinch. He then goes down to the Sand. He then goes into his last mod, the Tyrantrum, I go for the Iron Head, almost take him out in one shot, take some damage. He goes for the Draco, Aerodactyl barely takes anything. Sand keeps going, I then go for an Iron Head and take him out. Good game. At this time I ask you guys to please like, comment, share, and subscribe as it really helps to the channel. Without further ado, let's get into game 2. This time we're Misty and we start with the Lapras, they start with the Aegis Slash, go right for the Sacred Sword, I go for the Rain Dance. Jellicent then comes in to eat up that fighting move, does nothing. The Rain is still coming down, they go for the Psycho Cut, Jellicent eats that up, gets that Curse Body going, I retaliate with the Skull, do a huge chunk but he just hangs on. Get some leftovers back, but then switch into Superior. I fire off another Scald, but it does barely anything. Get a lucky burn. Superior then decides to seed my Jellyfish over here. I go for the Hex, do a good chunk. We both get some lefties back. He takes some burn, but gets some Leech Seed health back. He then decides to Toxic me, gets that bad poison. I go for another Hex, but Superior just hangs on. Get some health exchange, take a little bit of damage on each way. He then decides to set up a substitute because gets barely down to anything. I go for the Hex, destroy the beanbag. We both get some health back, and then some lefties, and some leech seed, and some burn. He then decides to switch into his Absol. I go for the Hex, he does barely anything. Old Reliable the Quagsire then decides to come in. He whiffs the Stone Edge. Goes for the Parish Stone, we both get that 3 count. I decide to set up some spikes, counter goes down. He goes for the Psycho Cut, does barely anything. I set up some more Toxic Spikes, that counter goes down again. I then decide to switch into my Blastoise, he goes for the Stone Edge, connects this time, does a good chunk. He then goes for another Parish Song, I go for the Liquidation, his Parish Song goes down to zero, bye bye Absol. He then goes into his Mouse Hold, Party of Four, gets that Poison and some damage, goes for the Tidy Up, gets his boost, gets rid of my Hazards. I go for the Liquidation, do a good chunk. He takes some damage. I then decide to switch back into the Jellison. He goes for the Population Bomb, but I'm immune. The Little Mouse family then goes for the Seed Bomb. Gets a super effective kill on the Jellison. I then go back into my Quagsire. He goes into his Cloister at this time. I set up some more Spikes. Get some Lefties back. He then goes for the Rapid Spin. Gets that Speed Boost. Gets rid of my Hazards. I say, no, no. Get more Spikes up. He goes for another Rapid Spin, gets rid of those spikes again, gets another boost. I decide to go for the Scald, do a good chunk to Cloister. He goes for that Shell Smash, gets those boosts going, eats that herb, gets rid of the drops. I go for another Scald, do another good chunk, hoping for a burn but not getting nothing. He goes for another Rapid Spin, gets more speed. I go for another Scald to get some more damage, finally get the burn. He then fires off the Rock Blast, which I totally resist. Doing barely anything the good old Quagsire over here. Hits five times, but Quagsire eats that up. I go for the Scald, take out the Cloister. Doom itself then decides to go into the battlefield, the Rat Attack. Goes for the Endeavor, drops me all the way down. I get some lefties back. He then goes for the Protect. I decide to go for the Recover, get a nice chunk back. Get some more from the lefties. I then decide to set up some Toxic Spikes. He goes for the Endeavor, drops me right back down. I get some lefties back, he goes for the quick attack but Quagsire eats that up. 
I go for the recover, get some health back. I then decide to set up some more spikes, he goes for the toxic at this time, I get some leftovers, take some poison. I then set up even more spikes, he goes for the endeavor, brings me all the way back down. I get some lefties, then go down to the poison. Wounded Lapras decides to come back in, I go for the parish song, he goes for the endeavor, drops me all the way down. That parish counter starts going. I then decide to switch into my Blastoise, he goes for the Toxic and gives me that poison. I take a little bit of damage. He then decides to switch into his Aegis Slash who goes down to those hazards. I take some poison. He then goes into Superior who goes down to the hazards. Same thing with the Mouse Hole, those hazards are really coming in clutch. He then goes back into the Doom itself, he takes all that hazard damage, goes for the Protect, I go for the Liquidation, do nothing. He goes for one more protect, just trying to stall out this time. Liquidation does nothing. I take some poison damage, and so does he. He goes for the quick attack, Blastoise eats that up. Go for the liquidation, take him out. Good game. Alrighty, now let's use Surge's team. I start off with the Electrode, they start off with the Meow Stick. They go right for that Magic Coat, I go for the Taunt, they bounce it right back at me. They then decide to set up a Reflect, I go for the Volt Switch, do a little bit, use that to pivot into my Magna Zone. They then decide to set up a light screen, I go for that charge beam, thankfully get the special attack boost. They then switch into their Ampharos, I go for another charge beam, don't get the boost though. They go for that mega evolution, start breaking that mold, I go for a charge beam, does nothing but I get another boost. They get a cotton guard, I go for the hidden power, do a good chunk to Ampharos. They retaliate with that T-Bolt, do barely anything. I then go for another hidden power, Ampharos just hangs on, gives me another T-Bolt, does barely anything. I go for one more hidden power, take out the Ampharos. Little ground bat boy decides to come in, I immediately go for the terrifying, he whiffs the earthquake, go for the hidden power ice, take him out in one shot. His reflect goes away, and then he goes into the ambipom. Goes for the fake out, Magazone eats that up, but I flinch. The light screen goes away, he goes for the double head, completely whiffs. I go for a t-bolt, knock him all the way down to his sash. He then connects with the double hit, Magazone finally goes down. Electro decides to make an appearance again, he decides to switch into his war turtle. I go for the Volt Switch, do a good chunk, and use it to pivot into my Raichu. I start thinking some nasty thoughts, get that special attack boost, he goes for the Skull, does barely anything. I go for another nasty plot, thinking some really bad things, I get poisoned, take some damage. He then goes for the Protect, I go for the Thunderbolt, does nothing. Take some more poison damage, go for a T-Bolt, take out the War Turtle. Two Hands Monkey decides to come back in. Goes for the fake out, takes out my Raichu. Electro decides to come out again. He uses this time to switch into his Meow Stick. I set up a light screen. He sets up a magic coat. I go for the Volt Switch though. Uses to pivot into my Jolteon. He sets up a light screen now. I go for the Shadow Ball, does barely anything. I go for another Shadow Ball. Meow Stick is still holding on, retaliates with that Psychic. He sets up a Reflect. I go for another Shadow Ball, finally take him out. The Ghostly Candle finally decides to make an appearance, I decide to switch into my Ampharos. They go for the Terror Grass, go right for that Calm Mind. Go for a Shadow Ball, do barely anything to Ampharos. I go for the T-Wave, get that power, slow him down over there. I decide to set up some Electric Terrain, he goes for another Energy Ball, does barely anything. Get some more lefties back. I then decide to switch into my Electivire, he goes for the Overheat, one-shots the Electivire. He loses some Special Attack and some HP. I then go back into my Jolteon, go for the Volt Twitch, do barely anything to Chandelure. Go back into the Electrode, he can't move from the Paralysis. I then decide to set up some Reflex, he goes for an Energy Bolt, it's a huge chunk. I decide to set up a Light Screen as well, he gets that full Para. His screens go away, I go for the Volt Switch and use this to pivot back into my Jolteon. He goes for another Energy Bolt, does barely anything with my screens. I go for a Shadow Ball, Chandelure just hangs on. He goes for the overheat, Jolteon just hangs on, and he finally goes down to some recoil. His last Pokemon is a fully damaged Ambipom. He goes for the fake out, takes out my Jolteon. I go into my Electrode, outspeed, go for the Volt Switch, take him out. Good game. Alrighty, now let's use Erica's team. They start off with the Deoxys, I start off with my Tangaroth. He goes right for that cosmic power, starts boosting in my face. I decide to give him a good old Toxic. He takes some damage, and then goes for the Taunt, which allows me to not be able to use my Sunny Day. He takes some damage, he goes for the Nightshade, does barely anything to Tangrowth. I just start to start firing off some Giga Drains, get some health back. He goes for the Recover, gets almost full, I go for another Giga Drain. 
that toxic damage is slowly building up and his taunt goes away. He goes for another taunt. I still can't Sunny Day over here. He's taking a lot of poison damage. He goes for that Nightshade. I go for another Giga Drain. Deoxys is still hanging on. Finally goes down to the Toxic. The Shiny Braviary finally decides to make an appearance. I decide to switch into my Blossom. He goes for the Brave Bird. One shots the Blossom. Takes a huge chunk of recoil. I then decide to switch back into the Tangrowth. He goes for another Brave Bird. That's a huge chunk, but I just hang on. I decide to set up a Sunny Day. He uses it to switch into a Celesteela. I leech seed the Celesteela on the way in, get some health back. I then decide to switch into the threat, the Venusaur. He goes for the flamethrower, does a huge chunk, but I just hang on, get some health back. I then go for the weather ball, do a huge chunk, Celesteela just hangs on, fires off a leech seed, but I'm immune. I finally take him out with some leech seed damage. The beautiful shiny Skeptile then decides to come in, goes for that mega evolution, but unfortunately, I take him out with one shot, the sludge bomb. Alolan Golem then decides to come in, I go for the Giga Drain, one shot that, get a huge chunk of health back. Braviary decides to make an appearance again, I go for the Sludge Bomb, take him out. My opponent's last Pokemon is a Gastrodon, I go for the Giga Drain, one shot the Gastrodon, get all the way back up to full health. Good game. Alrighty, let's start with Janine's team. They start with the Terrakion, I start with my Crobat. I go right for that Taunt, expecting a Stealth Fire, but they go right for the Iron Head, do a huge chunk. I go for the Brave Bird, but Terrakion just hangs on, take a lot of recoil. Goes for an Iron Head, takes out my Crobat. The Ace Venomoth then decides to come in. He goes for the Earthquake, that's a huge chunk. I go right for that Quiver Dance, get a nice boost. He gets some leftovers, Taunt goes away. He goes for the Quick Attack, but Venomoth eats that up. Goes for the Psychic, takes out Terrakion. The second one of the trio comes in, Verizion. Goes for a quick attack, takes me out. The OG Queen decides to come in. He goes for the Sunny Day, I go for the Sludge Wave, take him out in one shot. The OG Phoenix decides to come in, applies that pressure. I decide to switch into my Tanacruel. They go for the Terror Fire Flamethrower, Tanacruel eats that up. Sun's still going, I get some Sludge Health. They go for the Extra Sensory, Tanacruel eats that. Goes for the knockoff, gets rid of his leftovers. Goes for another extra sensory, takes out my Tanacruel. I decide to go back into my Nidoqueen. Queen. Go for the Terra Poison. He goes for an extra sensory, does a huge chunk. I retaliate with that Sludge Wave, take out Moltres. The last of the trio, Cobalion, comes in. I decide to switch back into my Weezing. He goes for the Home Claws, gets that boost. Goes for the Stone Edge, Weezing eats that up. I go for the Will Wisp, completely whiff it. Goes for another Stone Edge, hits. Weezing eats it up. This time I connect with the will o -Wisp to get that burn. Cobalion then goes for the Mega Horn. Weezing says, nope, no problem. I go for the Flamethrower, do a huge chunk. He goes for another Stone Edge, hits again. Go for the Flamethrower, take out the Cobalion. The leader of the pack, Keldia, decides to come in. Goes for a Scald, takes out my Weezing. I then decide to go into my Rosary. He goes for the Air Slash, Rosary eats that up. Go for a Giga Drain, get a huge chunk of my health back. Goes for the Icy Wind this time, hits, gets that speed lower. I go for another Giga Drain, take out the Keldeo. His last Pokemon is a Galarian Zapdos. He goes for the Drill Pack, takes out my Roserade. I go back into my Nidoqueen. He goes for the Close Combat, Nidoqueen eats that up. He gets his defense lower, go for the Ice Beam, take him out. Good game. Alrighty, now onto Sabrina. They start with the Beedrill, I go for the Slow King. They go for that Mega Evolution Fail Stinger, do a huge chunk, I retaliate with the T-Wave. I then switch into my Hypno, they get that full para, goes for the U-Turn then, takes out Hypno. They pivot into the Auroras, get that Hail going, I go into my Alakazam. Go for the Energy Ball, do a huge chunk, he goes for a Blizzard, takes out Alakazam. I then switch into my Jinx, go for that Nasty Plot, he goes for the Blizzard, Jink does about half. I go for the Psychic, take out the Auroras. They then decide to go into their Starmie, go for the Hydro Pump, get that dry skin. I go for the Lovely Kiss, put Starmie to sleep. He then switches into his Minior, gets that shields down, I go for the Psychic, take him out in one shot. The OG Slowbro then comes in, I go for another Nasty Plot, he goes for that T-Wave, gives me that para. I go for Psychic, do a huge chunk. He then goes for the Teleport, goes back into the Beedrill, goes for a U-Turn, takes out my Jinx. The Sleeping Starfish then comes back in, I go for the Mr. Mime, go for that Calm Mind, start boosting in his face. 
He goes into his Slowbro. I'm still calming my mind. Go for the Dazzling Gleam. Slowbro just hangs on. He goes for that T-Wave. Gives me that Para. He then goes into his Mew. I fire off another Dazzling Gleam. He goes for the knockoff. Gets rid of my Eviolite. Go for the Mystic Fire. Get the special attack lower. Go for another Dazzling Gleam. Take out the Mew. He goes back into the Beedrill. Gets that full Para. I go for the Psychic. Take out the Beedrill. He goes back into Starmie. He's still sleeping. I go for the Dazzling Gleam. Take him out. Last one is slow, bro. He then forfeits. Good game. Alright, you're almost there. On to Blaine. Start with Nine Tails. They start with the Darmanitan. I then decide to switch into my Arcanine. Get that Intimidate. He goes for the Flare Blitz. Does a huge chunk to Arcanine. Sun's still coming. He goes for the Flare Blitz. This time takes out Arcanine. I then go into my Charizard. Go for the Scorching Sand. Take out Darmanitan. Victini then decides to come out. Goes for the Terror Electric. I go for the Terror Ground. Go for the Scorching Sand. He just hangs on, but I get the burn. Goes for the Bolt Strike. I'm immune to that. Take some damage. He then goes down to the burn. We then get the Mirror Match of all time, but I decide to switch into my Rapidash. He goes for the Fire Blast. That's a huge chunk. Takes a little bit of damage over there. Goes for another Fire Blast. Takes out Rapidash. I then decide to go into my Mac Mortar. He goes for the Fire Blast. This time completely misses. I go for the T-Bolt. Take out Charizard. He then goes into his Victory Bell. I decide to switch back into my Ninetales. He goes for that Z-Crystal. Bloom Dance. Ninetales eats that right up. He then goes into his own Ninetales. Gets that Sun back up. I switch back into my Mag Mortar. He goes for the Dark Pulse, Mag Mortar eats that right up. I go for the Psychic to a huge chunk. He goes for another Dark Pulse, Mag Mortar says nope, goes for the Psychic, takes him out. He then goes back into the Victory Bell, goes for the Poison Jab, takes out Mag Mortar. I then go back into my Charizard, go for the Flamethrower, take out the Plant. His last Pokemon is the Ditto. He copies my Charizard. I go for the Flamethrower, do a huge chunk. He goes for the Scorching Sand. Charizard hangs on. I go for another Flamethrower, take him out. Good game. Alrighty, on to the last one, Giovanni. They select with Zerkatree. I select with my Hippowdon. He goes for the Energy Ball, does a huge chunk, but the Hippo hangs on. I go with the Stealth Rock. He takes some damage, I get some health back. I then decide to switch into my Nidoking, he goes for another energy ball, does about half, takes some damage from the sand, goes for another energy ball, takes out the Nidoking. He gets that beast boost, takes a little bit of damage. I then go into my Crocodile, go for the Earthquake, take out the Zerkatree. I get that Moxie boost. He then goes into his Corviknight, takes some damage from the rocks, gets that pressure. I decide to switch into my Gliscor, he goes for the Defog, gets rid of my Hazards. I then go for the knockoff, get rid of his leftovers. He goes for the U-turn, does a little bit of damage, but pivots into his Dragapult. He goes for the Hex, does a huge chunk, but Gliscor just hangs on. I retaliate with the knockoff, get rid of his leftovers. He goes for another Hex, takes out the Gliscor. I then go back into the Crocodile, go for the Darkest Lariat, take out the Dragapult. I get my Moxie boost again. He goes into his Pikachu. Goes for the Terra Normal, Fake Out, does a little bit to Crocodile, I flinch. Goes for the E-Speed, Crocodile just hangs on, I go for the Darkest Lariat, one shot to Pikachu. He goes back into Corviknight, gets that pressure rolling. I go for the Darkest Lariat, do a huge chunk but he just hangs on. Goes for the U-Turn, pivots into his Tinglu, gets that Vessel of Ruin going. I then go into my Garchomp, go for the Liquidation, do about half to Tinglu. He sets up some rocks. Get some leftovers back. He then switches into his Grim Snarl. I go for the liquidation, do a huge chunk to him. Go for another liquidation, take out the Grim Snarl. He goes back into the Corviknight. Go for the liquidation, take out the bird. My opponent then forfeits. Good game. Alrighty, that was a long one, but I want to thank you all for watching. As usual, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and stay tuned for future content. Peace!